Uh, Paul in Woodenville, Washington. Hey, Paul, what's on your mind today? Tom, my, uh, my father, my 93-year-old dad, who never got a vaccine because he bought into the... I, I don't think he was a serious right-winger, but uh, actually he, didn't, he said he didn't think he needed one. And when he asked, he asked my sister if he thought uh, he should get one, she told him, well, heck, you've been doing so pretty good so far, and no reason to get one now. And besides, the side effects are worse than the disease. He was hospitalized two week, over two weeks ago with COVID. He didn't have the lung problem, but he seemed to have two strokes and collapsed before they took him to the hospital. And now he's launched full-fledged into dementia, and um, the COVID fog is so thick. They don't know if it'll ever lift, and the doctors have said he pro he was living on his own at age 93, and pr I thought he was pretty strong, pretty healthy, but they're saying he probably will never live on his own again. Wow. If he survives. And his, his uh, we, in the ICU, they don't know if they're thinking about by the end of the week or maybe next week if he can go down to a less critical uh, state of care, but he can't. Uh, my sisters went to visit him uh, yesterday, and he said, well, are you staying for dinner? Do you think we have enough fish in the refrigerator for everybody? Uh, he didn't even know where he was. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that, Paul, about your dad. That's, that's so tragic. And it could have been all avoided. I called him in April after I got my shot. And I said, Dad, did you get your shot? And he said, I don't need one of those. And, uh, you know, in Christmas time last year, he was very positive about, oh, he said, no, the, the pandemic's going to go away. They're getting the shot. So I thought he would, but... He said he didn't need one, and I, he said he didn't even know where to get one. He lives in uh, Wayne County, Detroit, and I said, there must be lots of places. Ask your doctor. Right. And he never did. And, you know, my father, I've learned uh, uh, my relationship with him is I've learned uh, I'm not going to argue with him. He doesn't appreciate arguing and convincing. Sure. I said, okay, Dad, well, you know, good luck with that. And I knew it was only a matter of time. And my sisters are kind of right-wingers, and uh, I wouldn't say they're real Trumpies, although they voted for Trump, but they bought into all the misinformation about the vaccine, and now this is what's happened to Dad, who I thought was... My dad was a professional jazz trombone player, and he was still playing up in, 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 to this year. He was at 93, he was still playing uh, wow. professionally. Wow. And, and now and, he is... It's, and now it's, he has COVID dementia. Just, yep. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Paul, thank you.